Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll see how to clone a local pluggable database. We'll start by connecting to the root container and displaying the current pluggable databases. During a clone operation, the source pluggable database must be in read only mode. Creating a new pluggable database from the seed database is actually a clone operation. But the fact that it's always in read-only mode means we never have to worry about explicitly setting it to read-only. So the first step in our clone operation is to make sure our source pluggable database is in read-only mode. Now we can create a new pluggable database as a copy of our existing one. The syntax is similar to creating a new pluggable database from the seed except we include the from clause to specify our source pluggable database. Remember, if we're not using Oracle Manage files, we have to make sure the file paths are converted properly. After opening the pluggable database in read-write mode, we can see it's been registered correctly with the root container. The final step in the operation is to switch the source pluggable database back into read-write mode. This leaves us with both the original source pluggable database and our clone of it. To remove the clone, simply close it and drop it. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and don't forget to like the video if you liked it.